with Dashin. Uh, Dashin is the author of Rufo. Can you tell us a little bit, Juan, about the book and yourself? It's about three kids growing up in the mid to late 1980s in okay. the Bronx. And uh, actually one of the kids is from a African prehistoric bloodline. Oh. Egyptians, Golden Age, right. and all that. Like those, one of the kids is related to one of those. Okay. Um, is related to that time period, and his actual ancestor is alive right now. All right. Watching all right. over them and guiding them and stuff like that. But it's a. Oh, I don't want to ruin the twist because right, it's right. it's a definite major twist in the book. Does this have like science fiction in it? Is oh, it's a science fiction oh, novel. A lot of people writing like all these urban titles. But now here you are taking a different kind of twist. Yeah, urban it. science fiction. Yeah, because you know that I'm, might be the first, one of the first urban science fictions I heard of recently. Okay. Yeah. yeah, because uh, you know there's a lot of science fiction writers. Um, you know, bless the dead, Octavia Butler, and um, what happened was what happened is a lot of younger cats are not into sci-fi, right, African right. American sci-fi because they can't. You know, it's a little stiff. You know, and it's. Not nothing from it. There's nothing wrong with excellent writing, but a lot of young cats are into the urban thing. Right, right. But they're not getting their, their needs met when they go over there. So okay. what I want to do is provide them with that, that science fiction essence right, and, right. The, and the metaphysical thing about it. Black folks are deep people. We've right, always right. been. Absolutely. We've Absolutely. always been. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're the, come on, we're the creators of the, right. the, and the civilization. And you know what I'm saying? We have an ancient history. We have a beautiful history. But the thing about it is that when it comes to sci-fi, people shy away from it because right, right. everybody's concentrating on the, you know, gangster, gangster, and which is nothing wrong with it because right, you know right. no, everybody, part ev everything. you know, so that's what I'm going to say. It's yeah. a 360 degree thing. So I'm right. just trying to order, um, offer another piece of the pie. You know, okay. so that's why it's called Archetype Press. Okay. You know, saying so arc is actually a part of the circle. So I'm oh, just, sure. a, I'm just a part of that circle. When did you get into science fiction? Well, I've just always been a fan of, you know, the movies and stuff. Right. And I actually, I read black and white science fiction books, sure, sure. you know. But uh, I also definitely wanted to, um, I wanted to write. Okay. I've been wanting to write for a long time. So when I started to write, the first thing, it, it just came natural. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, that's what I know. This is your first book? My first novel, uh, When yes. did it come out, this year? It came out actually at that very end of 2005, but okay. really. Okay, that's, that's pretty close to this year. Yeah. How's, how's it going? How, how the sales? So it's doing well. Yeah. Doing well. It's a local New York book right now. Okay. So what we're doing, that's why I'm here right now. I'm branching right. out and trying to let the let the world know sure, sure. that it's here. Have you gotten a lot of attention? Oh, yeah. Soon yeah. They'll come by, they'll look at it and stuff. But then when I say it's, it's urban science fiction or African-American science fiction or black science fiction, everybody's like, what? What? Let right, me see. Right, let me see. Right. You know, so. Have you received any, uh, like, comparisons to Octavia Butler? I know late, late Octavia Butler. No, not, like not really, not of, really. Yeah, oh yeah. Like I, mean, I mean, I have, I have, I have, a lot of people are taking to it, and I'm getting a, a you know, good response. Right. But um, no, I haven't been, I haven't been compared there yet. I, I would, let me tell you something. It'll be honor, and I'm not, I'm nowhere near that yet. <laughs> right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. I'm not even gonna lie to myself. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but, but but I'm in my own. But, but listen, I'm in my own right. All I know right, that for right. a fact. When people read, they always say, like, yeah. like damn. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So what's next? Are you, are you oh, oh I'm already on. I'm already on part two. I'm already halfway through part two to this, and okay. uh, I'm working on a couple of other things too. But I really want to focus on getting part two out and getting this one right. mainly seen. That's my main focal point: is letting the world know that this is here. It's here. You need to get this book. Right. All right. This is what you need. You know, expand your mind. Try something different. Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? So now you, you started a press to put out this book. Do you yes. plan to publish other people's work, or is it just going to be? Um, if I do it further down the line, like um, I know a few, I know a few writers that actually I have a comic book artist that he writes okay. also, and uh, I have two females that write mm -hmm. short stories and a couple other people. So what I was thinking about doing is just maybe shooting out a compilation of short stories. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because all of those all these people are not conventional people. Like they. Right. They right. dance to a beat of a different drum, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. So I was figuring, you know, being that I'm already already away from everybody else by right. doing the sci-fi thing, I could offer something different by just giving out a whole compilation of people. Sure, sure. And, if, you know, if it does well, then we'll see what happens. Maybe I will print other do, people. Do but. you think, like, a large publisher is going to pick up one today? or? Is, no, I'm is, not interested is, in that right now. Not at all? Not right now, I'm okay. saying. I'm saying, you know, okay. 
you never know. Yeah. The money's right or whatever, yeah. you know Maybe what I'm saying? Movies down the line. Movie, yes, yeah. definitely, definitely movies. Is, is that something you started to work on already? Or? No, nah, not yet. Okay. One step at a time, you know what I'm saying? I'm still getting my feet wet with this, so. Oh, okay, okay. You know? But again, the name of the book is Rufu <laughs> Da Shen. Da Shen. Da Shen. Yes. Uh, <laughs> definitely check out the book. Uh, good, good author, good writer. Um, we're here at BEA in the beautiful Washington, D.C. So uh, definitely, again, check out the book. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you.